previously on Heartland. I think I'll go see what Amy's doing. Wouldn't let her in the lurch to come water a bunch of cows. I'm warning you, man. More than likely, she'd be begging me to stay. There's problems. A million problems, like, you're too short. Hi, bro. Hudson, rodeo queen? I mean, the next thing you know, you'll be barrel racing. Heck, I've been competing for two years, and you're going to be a real threat. You bet I am. It's just what I do with someone I love. Someone you... Well, you're never going to say it, but that's how I feel. Maybe we should take a break. RCMP Constable Mark Rodriguez was commended yesterday for saving the life of a 14-year-old boy who nearly drowned in the Sheep River. Wow, there have been a lot of drownings in that section of the river over the years. That boy was lucky. The best part is a local girl, Amy Flemmy, wrote for help. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, yes, they did. Flemmy sounds like... Yes, I know what it sounds like, Mallory. Hey, guys, I'm just going to take Pegasus out. Oh, I was thinking of exercising Spartan. Uh, do you want to go together? Yeah, sure. Maybe I should go with him, you know, like act as a mediator. Uh, maybe you should stay out of it, you know, and do the dishes. They ran my profile last week. It um, looked like I had something between my teeth. Yeah, mine's OK, though. But relax. They're not judging you on one photo. Yeah, I guess you're right. They will judge you on everything else, though. How's the barrel racing going? Great, thanks. Must have been hard, trading in a horse like Apollo for a cow pony. 
I didn't trade him in. Apollo's still very much mine. Hey, Lou. Hey, Nick. Hi. I've been thinking about you. Really? There's a big charity match at the Polo Club this Saturday. Yes, I've heard about it. It's a very classy affair, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I have a ton of comps. Oh, cool. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Ashley, can I get a coffee, please? Are you sure you don't want it to go? I'm a huge fan. Maybe I will have it to go. Is Scott busy these days? I want to talk to him about something. Well, actually, um, Scott and I are... Good to see Spartans bounce right back. Yeah, thanks to you guys. Mallory is never riding him again. Hey, Ty, you know that girl who, uh, who helped you? You know, Kit or whatever? She's just a friend of Caleb's, Amy. Just Caleb? I'm just asking. Amy. Morning. Good morning, Caleb. So your riding's coming along? Yeah, it's coming along. It's a smart move to take an old horse. It's a good beginner ride. Amy, you didn't tell me this Mountie was so gorgeous. Seriously, I'm gonna have to tie myself to some railway tracks. Um, then Lou. you can call 911 and say, help, help, my sister needs rescuing, but only by Constable Mark Rod Well, physically, Venture's fine, but suddenly he's terrified of water, and on top of that, he won't let anyone ride him, including me. These vets weren't sure what to do, so your name came up. I'm glad you thought of us. Oh, I didn't. Look, I gotta be straight with you. I don't buy into this horse whispering stuff. I'm just following orders. You know, Amy's pretty good at what she does. You might be surprised. I doubt that. So, I could bring him out tomorrow then? Yeah, sure, that would be great. Okay, I'll see you then. You must feel pretty good being called a hero. I am no hero, so stay away from those railway tracks, okay? <laughs> Stop drooling. What? <laughs> Aren't you and Scott still technically together? Yes. No. You would have to ask him. Besides, just because a girl already has great clothes doesn't mean she can't window shop. Rodeo's coming up. That's what she keeps saying. You'll come watch me, right? If you think for one moment I'm going to be your buckle bunny, think again. Okay, okay. Don't you have, like, a practice to go to or something? Nope. So you're treating the hero's horse? I guess. Constable Rodriguez doesn't buy into the horse whispering stuff. Well, if anybody's gonna change his mind, it's gonna be you. I don't know, there's something about this guy. He's got a look about him like he's guilty or something, you know? You sure you're not projecting? Projecting? Like maybe you're the one who feels guilty about something and you're blaming someone else? Yeah. That's exactly it, Dr. Phil. I ran into Nick Harwell today. His uh, polo team is having an exclusive invite-only charity match at the Hudson Hills Polo Club. Anyway, he gave me a whole pile of comp tickets, if anyone's interested. Oh, that sounds like fun. Jack and I would love to go. Look, Lisa. Oh, here it comes. You're not coming to that polo match with me. Yeah, I didn't say that. Really? 
You're gonna come with me? No. No, it's just not my thing. You wouldn't want to try a different thing. Well, you know the saying, it don't take a genius to spot a goat in a flock of sheep. No, I have never heard that saying before in my life. What I've heard? What I've heard is stick in the mud. Good night. me. I bought you a present. Now you have to come to the rodeo. Let me guess. You have nowhere better to be today? Nope. I'll be right back. My love life is a mess. I was unaware you were in possession of such a thing. Jake is driving me crazy. He follows me around like a little puppy. Puppies can be cute if they're not chewing on your shoes or peeing on the floor. I need to know how to get rid of him. Well, how about saying, Jake, I'm sorry, but I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Maybe that's what they use in the Paleozoic ages, Jack. But nobody uses direct approach anymore. I need something more subtle, more... What, underhanded? Exactly. And I'm sure you got a few breakup stories. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I didn't break up with that many girls. No, no, I meant the girls who broke up with you. There weren't that many. Come on, Jack. I'm desperate. Please, just tell me what they did. Well, there was this one girl. <clears throat> Eleanor. I thought things were hunky-dory, but then she started to avoid me. Wouldn't make eye contact, she wouldn't return my calls. Always had excuses why she couldn't see me. Had to wash her hair, had to clean out her closet. Had to... Brilliant. Come on, that trailer. Settle. 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 Come on. Nice horse. How long you had him? Since I joined the force six years ago. It's a long time. <clears throat> Must break your heart to think that he might retire. Yeah, could be his time to go. I don't waste emotions on a mode of transportation. If my truck breaks down, I get a new one. So he's all yours. Call me if you make any progress. For sure. What a sensitive guy. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mallory. This is way more fun than camp. Wanna come over to my place? I could rope some calves and you could watch. Can't. I've got stuff to do. Like what? Like, wash my hair. Oh. And I gotta clean up my closet, so. Okay then. See you later. Just a gentle spray. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, that's good. You're a good boy. <laughs> See, it's not gonna hurt you. All right, let's try it again. Good boy. Come on, boy, let's do this again. Look, it's not so bad. Come here. <laughs> Look, I'll do it. Look, look. See, you're okay. See that? That's okay. Come here. Come on. That's okay. I'm not gonna do it. Just let him relax. There we go, Damon, son! Oh, hold on, get in there! Hold on. I got it! All right, 
Great to have you on board. Good to be here. Our club vet moved east, and uh, we've been struggling, so good you could take over on such short notice. Well, I understand you put in a good word for me, so thanks for that. Don't thank me. Thank Lou. She recommended you. Lou, have you seen my favorite shirt? You know, the, the plaid one. Grandpa. All of your shirts are plaid. Hi. Lisa, I didn't even know you were here. I was just leaving. What's the hurry? Why don't you stay for supper? Oh, that's nice. I would, I can't, I, um, I, I, I have a thing that I have to go to. I, so, I'll, bye. What was that about? What was what about? Scott. Hi. Lou, Jack. Hey. Uh, good to see you, Scott. Hi. How are you? Did I get that job at the pole club because of you? You got the job? That's great. Damn it. I want to get the jobs on my own merit. Hey, hold on. I was just doing you a favor. Well, don't do me any more favors. I want to know that when I get the job, it's because of me, not because of your relationship with the captain of the polo team. Relationship? What relationship? Scott, wait. Are you going to answer that? It's Jake. I'm ignoring his calls. Long story. Hey, do you think you'll have time today to help me with venture? Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Well, not right now, you don't. I need you to do a supply run with me. I'll get him back as quick as I can. What she wants. That's what God. Mrs. Bell, nice to see you. Whoa, whoa. Well, my hip's a bit sore, but other than that, I'm right as rain. Thanks for asking. I've given him Star Bethlehem for the initial shock of the accident and then lavender to help him relax. Here's lavender, it'll relax him. And your mother swore by Star of Bethlehem. Oh, and I have some red chestnut oil, too. It can help with anxiety. Thank you. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> Sugarfoot's found a friend. Mrs. Bell, do you think I could borrow Sugarfoot for a little while? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Venture. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. What in the heck are you doing? Well, Venture's terrified of water, so I'm just getting him over his fear. Look, it's so cute. Sugarfoot and Venture have really hit it off. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, it's cute. No, listen, it works because Sugarfoot will go anywhere for food. Good boy. Here you go. And Venture will go anywhere to be with Sugarfoot. No offense, but that's a puddle. Well, I'm building him up gradually. I thought once I can saddle him, I'll take him to the stream. Why not saddle him up now? Rodriguez says he wouldn't let anyone ride him. So I thought I'd try join up tomorrow. I wouldn't do that.
you're saying? I wonder why Constable Rodriguez said that no one could ride Venture. Oh, well, maybe Venture's got a weakness for a pretty face. Why don't you cross the stream first? That's yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Come on, you stubborn little thing. <laughs> This. Apple? <laughs> he's used to getting his own way, but he's hard not to like. Sort of like me. Oh, yeah, right. Come on, you're okay. <clears throat> Your friend's over there. Horse, uh, Saturday night coming up. Maybe you'd like to come with me? You could use your advice. Um, I. Simple yes or no would do? Yes, sure. <laughs> what is this? Hudson Rodeo Queen hopeful? I know. My forehead's kind of shiny, but otherwise, it's not a bad photo. Ashley, please, tell me you're not going through with this rodeo nonsense. Oh, but I am. Oh, so you won't be needing Apollo anymore. Oh, I'm still jumping for fun. <sighs> Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? For who? Ventured across the stream, and Caleb saddled him up, no problem. Hell, the boss is watching. Better go do my real job. <laughs> what do you think? So I think I'm gonna call Rodriguez, have him come over and ride Venture. That's simple. Well, why not? Well, maybe it's too fast. Oh, I don't think so. You should have seen him following Sugarfoot. They went right through the deep water. Thought you were gonna wait. I'm sorry, I just... Whatever. Scott, call me. We need to talk. Well, hello there. Hi. Hey, Constable. Thanks for coming. Sure. See ya. Yeah. So once you've got him saddled up, we'll head to the stream. Get some real news, okay? I should just drop out like I stand a chance against Ashley. And what good does dropping out do except give Ashley a better shot? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I told my mom about that RCMP guy you're working with. 
And she remembered reading about him and his brother a long time ago. It's so sad. What? What's sad? Hey. Hey. You know how you said there was something about Rodriguez? You know that, that look he had? Yeah. Well, you're right. There is something going on. I didn't tell you this, but that first day when he was leaving, he got in his truck and he was really, really upset. Really? Yeah. Look at this. Six years ago, right after he joined the RCMP, his younger brother drowned. In Sheep River. This is where he rescued that kid. Yeah, exactly. He was there when his brother died. So was Venture. I think I know what I have to do now. Can you help me? Run. Okay. Bye. You were talking to Lisa? Mm -hmm. She didn't want to talk to me. Guess not. High school all over again. Jack, I've done everything you've told me to. No eye contact, lame excuses, ignoring his phone calls. Valerie, I am sorry I ever told you that story. And I sure as heck do not condone what you're doing. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but I gotta go finish my chores at the Heartland Child Labor Camp. Okay, I have something to say. First of all, polo players are loaded. And if you think for a moment they would let someone treat their horses who they didn't trust 100%, you're crazy. Lou. And yes, Nick told me they needed a vet. And yes, I praised you to the skies. Why wouldn't I? But your reputation did the rest. So whatever your reasons are for not talking to me, this can't be one of them. I'm sorry. And there is no relationship between me and Nick, OK? None. Hey, Lou. Am I still going to see you at the match tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Looking forward to it. Scott. Mm -hmm. Hi. I think the ringer in your phone's off. Jake, it's not off. I'm ignoring you. Why? You drive me crazy. I'm sorry, I just don't like you the way you like me. Just leave me alone, okay? Not a problem. I don't think this is such a good idea. Well, let's try it. <laughs> Why'd you want to come back here? Well, if we can get Venture to even walk close to the river, keep him calm, prove to him that it's safe, then he'll start to get over his fear of water. So watch. remembers. Right. He does. I think Venture's fear of water is all about this place. And the accidents. Forget it. Let's go. Come on. Hey, give Amy a chance. I don't think Venture's fear of water is about the boy you rescued. I think it's about what happened here six years ago. To you. What did you say? Your brother. Joe. Happened here, didn't it? Where do you get off looking into my private life, huh? You had no right. I'm just trying to do my job. There is no more job, Miss Fleming. This is over. You got that? This is over. Come on. Let's go. I 
I did it. I ditched Jake. Your mental cruelty paid off? No, that went right over his head. I just told him I didn't want him hanging around all the time. So you took the direct approach? Frankly, it would have saved a lot of time and energy if you were to just recommend that to me in the first place. So just you wait a bit. I did. Whatever. Hi. Okay, what's going on? This isn't high school, Lisa. Excuse me? If you don't want to see me anymore, just say so. You're right. I have been avoiding you. I think I did something you won't like. But in my defense, oh, it was a good idea at the time. <sighs> I had this made for you. That's why your shirt was missing, because Lou helped me borrow it to get your measurements. But I already own a good suit. It's a 40-year-old relic. I just thought if you had a good new suit, then you wouldn't feel like a sheep among the goats. Goat amongst the sheep. And then I picked it up, and I started to worry that you would think that I'm trying to change you, and I'm not. And you don't have to go to a polo match if you don't want to. It's your choice, and I'm okay with it. I appreciate the thought, Lise. And it's a beautiful suit. It is. And I use my suit for two things, weddings and funerals. It's a lovely gesture, but I'm still not gonna go. Okay. Well, you should have it. It was made for you. Is he ready to go? No. What do you mean, no? Hans Rodriguez, what I did yesterday, it wasn't fair. I should have warned you. Yeah, you're damn right you should have. I know you love that horse. And no matter what you say. And Venture, he loves you too. And he does remember. That recent accident just brought it all back. I'm sure for you too. Just let me try one more thing. Please. Lovely. Thank you. So do you. Did Jack come with you? I'm sorry, Lisa. He's being pig-headed. Mm -hmm. And he is not the only one. Huh. Where are you two at these days? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, they certainly keep us guessing, don't they? I mean, I can't even begin to describe the buzz it gives me. Caleb here is giving me my lessons, and in a couple weeks, I'll have my first rodeo. You should come and watch. Hey, Mrs. Stanton. Lovely to see you. Would you excuse us for just a moment? How dare you bring that, that stable hand here and talk about your trailer trash pursuits at my club? Fine. I'll stop talking about it. As long as I get to keep Apollo. Ashley, I will not be blackmailed. Okay. Have I told you that I started barrel racing? And Caleb here is teaching me. Really? Everyone, please take your seats. The match is about to begin. Well, if it isn't the goat. I'm very glad you're here. Well, at least we're, uh, we come from different worlds. We, like the 
fish stick to your caviar, the hamburger to your tenderloin. <laughs> Stop it, you make me hungry. I just did. I don't want to change you one bit. I like you just the way you are. Maybe a little less stubble for the club, eh? Kitty, you look so handsome. And we are underway. Fisher making his first move, but McMaster picking it up and sending it in. It's called join up. You have to make yourself the aggressor. Just drive him around using big, exaggerated motions and make sure to keep him moving. And what good will that do? Well, it just shows him you're the leader, that he can trust you. Now, he'll choose to either stay on the rail or come in the center to be with you. See, right now he's confused. He, he feels that you're upset, and that's why he won't let you ride him. He just doesn't understand what he did wrong. This is such a load of crap. What are you scared of? You're scared! Ty. Go on! Go on! Go on! That's it, just keep it moving. Go on! Go on! Go on, Venture! Go on! Go on! Okay, boys. It's time to break it up. Come on, bro. Join the party. Go on! Go on! Have some fun, bro. Come on. Give me the beer. <laughs> Give me the beer. Go on! Live a little. You never had any fun? Give me! Come on! Go on! Give me the beer. Wow. Just Don't, bro. Just... He's all right. No problems. Thanks, Scott. What? What is going on with us, Scott? What do you mean? I'm tired of all this waiting. All this game playing. I'm not playing any games, Lou. Fine. Maybe not, but this whole being on a break thing, it's torture, and I just need to know, are we on or are we off? I guess I have my answer. Thanks. Hey. 
Hey. Amy's amazing. Um. Yeah. Yeah, she is. <sighs> Thank you, guys. Both of you. Hey, feel free to bring him around anytime. Yeah, I just might do that. Well, I'll uh, I'll see you. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. I couldn't have done this one without you. Hey, we should celebrate. This Saturday night? Going to town, catch a movie or something? What do you think? <laughs> I can't. I... I've got plans. I... Maybe some other time. Yeah. Maybe. The worst advice. No, I told you a story. You turned it into advice, and sadly, it worked. No, it didn't. I didn't want to get rid of him, rid of him. I just wanted less of him. That's not how I remember it. Of course not. You're old. Mallory, I've got a mind to phone your parents, see if they need an extra roadie. Hey. What do you want? I think I left my Swiss Army knife here. No, you didn't. I think I did. No, you didn't. It's on your belt loop. Oh, okay then. See you later. Oh, for the love of Mallory, Jake didn't come here to find his knife. He came here to talk to you. Jake, Mallory misses you. Jack! A lot. She won't shut up about it. Now, why don't you two just talk it out and leave me out of it? Go on, get out of here. I'm nobody's buckle bunny. <laughs> Got it. Lending ear, I'll tell you a story about a man who didn't know how to be. Join a traveling circuit from P I to P C. I was playing dead every morning. I was taking dives every night. Someone came and swept me. Evening, everyone. You're seeing a horse, are you? Uh, yeah. Without a 